Hi everyone, uh, my name is Jake. May I have your attention please? I'm pretty sure you know my name since you're here for our anniversary dinner. Um, first of all, I'd like to say thank you so much for coming out to this very special dinner night. It's, uh, I know it's kind of prior to our actual anniversary, but we wanted to celebrate with y'all a little early before work schedules and school schedules get a little hectic. Um, Katie and myself are celebrating our first full year as husband and wife on September 23rd. Um, and I gotta say, it's been a great ride so far. Um, there's no one I would rather dance with through this crazy life of dance rather than my beautiful bride, Miss K Mrs. Katie Sturgeon. My apologies. Um, if y'all don't mind, I'd like to share with you um, how I met this stunning woman and uh, some highlights from our marriage, some um, marriage advice that I hold dear to my heart still, and uh, some goals and aspirations for her, for me and her. Um, does anybody in here like dancing? Because in my opinion, everyone should. Dancing how I, is how I met this beautiful woman. Um, I was at the YMCA, I used to dance with an old dance partner, and she um, was standing behind Brett, this guy in an office, uh, I left a little early and Brett stopped me, tried to ask for, you know, some guidance on how we could dance a little bit. And uh, ballroom dancing gets brought up in our conversation and Katie's five foot and Brett's six two. So you can kind of imagine how I couldn't see her. But she pops her head out and she goes, you know how to ballroom dance? And um, Brett kind of looks at her awkwardly and then looks at me and then looks at her. And there's like a solid silence, just 60 second silence easily. And uh, he said, you two should totally dance sometime. And the rest is a snowball effect. Um, I got a number and we danced for the first time a couple weeks after that uh, at the YMCA and uh, Studio A actually. Um, to this day, I still open the door for her. I still kiss her. I still hold her hand. Actually, she holds my arm when we walk. Um, I still dip her in the middle of the store randomly. Still give her piggyback rides. I still wake up with her. Late in the afternoon, and I still go out with her at 8.59, right before the frozen yogurt place ends, or closes, and uh, I do all the stuff that you did in the beginning of the relationship. Uh, that's because my grandfather always told me, don't ever stop doing what you did to get your woman if you want your marriage to last. And uh, that's probably some really good advice that I have to agree with. It definitely helps, and uh, it keeps your marriage alive. Um, not that it really has to have that to survive, but I mean, it's always fun to remember the good times. Um, this year has been amazing for us. We, uh, we've we celebrated buying our first home. We bought some new vehicles. Uh, we're still in school. We're still projecting to finish school and uh, we eventually want to start up our own business eventually. Um, we also plan on having kids. They're definitely coming down the pipeline. Everybody, Lord knows, her family and my family are always asking us when we're going to have kids. They're coming. We're just trying to make sure we're responsible and have them at the best time we possibly can. Um, I, I got to say, we've had our share of arguments and disagreements. Uh, but what I'm really excited about is the fact that we are able to get over and cling together and fight together through an obstacle rather than pushing away from it. And that's something that I absolutely love about Katie and myself. Um, I definitely have to uh, commend her for that. Um, the fun thing is about everything, me being married, is I get to wake up to this astonishing woman each and every day. And I get to tackle whatever obstacles come our way together with her. And I'm so glad that I have her beside me at all times. Um, I hope you enjoyed our little story so far. Uh, I promise it's going to be a little bit longer. I know it was short this year, but we've only been together for one year, so next year it'll be longer. Uh, last but certainly not least, probably the most important, no, absolutely the most important, to my beautiful bride. No matter, no amount of time will ever be enough for me to show how much I love you. Thank you so much for everything you do. Thank you for your communication, honesty, loyalty, respect, and determination to our marriage, and so much more. I love you a ridiculous amount, baby doll. I couldn't imagine life without you. Thank y'all so much for coming tonight, and y'all have a blessed night.